um, you know, direct countries when the public is not sufficient, uh, you know, efficient uh, enough, and the people putting into this, uh, uh, you know, the private sector working on um, uh, those uh, public uh, products, and uh, uh, of course, and uh, sometimes we, which requires a certain degree of the reform um, that uh, people brings uh, the PVP, um, you know, components, and uh, here. Probably you won't be able to look at the, the, the uh, you know, uh, uh, camera, uh, you know, clearly from the back. Basically, what I'm trying to say, you know, if you look at the, the sector, the sector is, uh, you know, from European countries. So European countries have, uh, you know, project has the um, um, infrastructure projects with the power generation projects with, you know, variety of uh, uh, different clients. And uh, going to um, other developed countries. And mainly, those uh, you know projects are you know successful projects are in the area you know uh, power generation and um, uh, 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 those you know type of you know short term and immediately you can you know select with the money and uh, to uh, continue to support other projects. Let me give you an example of the typical PPP project structure. And here I'm referring to. Uh, um, um, a, a, you know, sort of uh, um, business PPP model, um, design, um, build, finance, and operate. So that uh, you know, at least contains four stages. And the first with the design, and then build. And while the building uh, through the project, you need to finance it. And afterwards, with the uh, uh, infrastructure, whatever the product is finished, and the company continue running. This uh, you know sort of the structure facilities for considerable number of uh, years. So therefore, there's uh, you know uh, uh, in order to make this thing happen, usually there's uh, going to have a project agreement between private and the public with the government. So from the public side, uh, you know uh, government giving giving um, uh, regulation, giving legislation, you know support. And from the private side, and they usually come up with the consortiums. The consortiums doing three things. One is trying to find uh, you know private partners, and uh, um, the com consortium, the uh, uh, companies, the for the, the those companies forming the consortium, and they also come up with their money to support the project. And when the project is finished, and uh, the private side like construction contractors, and like uh, um, service uh, deliverers, and facility management contractors continue to operate that project. So um, um, uh, people also, uh, uh, you know, uh, for example, United Nations or Water Bank also giving advice how this, uh, you know, PVP project at the cycle time uh, can be managed. So uh, that is, uh, uh, because of the, you know some of the, those projects, because of the nature of uh, um, huge investment, and um, you know started from uh, uh, construction to uh, uh, to finish those projects, and uh, which uh, probably takes uh, you know years. And recently we have a follow up with the uh, Pan One high speed train um, project, started from design to uh, you know claim the land to uh, finish all the those uh, you know. Uh, uh, high-speed uh, uh, train uh, construction uh, and uh, putting into the operation, it takes 20 years. And uh, in the beginning, the Taiwanese government believes probably within you know 30 years of the operation, it might be uh, getting its you know private investment or or back. It turns out it wasn't the case. With the two series of the restructuring, refinance those projects, and uh, finally there's a. Um, Taiwanese uh, um, high-speed train companies now with the uh, 70 years concession period for operation. So um, that is the, um, in terms of uh, uh, um, finance side of uh, you, uh, you know uh, mega projects when you go through with the PPP related uh, um, scenario. Okay. Um, so let me uh, you know continue. Uh, to, uh, to talk about what are the uh, decision making uh, for the supply chains, because that is also related to, in a way, how transportation, logistics, like a port, how can you do those things. 
And we have two concepts. And one concept is those, uh, you know, sort of uh, consortium, or one of the members of the consortium with the absolute power over the uh, supply chain or transportation, uh, you know, a value chain, for example. There's another Chinese company, Cisco, and which is uh, basically is a shipping company, and it takes the right of uh, um, you know a Greece port, and because it has uh, lots of the control in terms of the uh, schedule their vessel, uh, you know schedule, and also make uh, you know routes connections. So therefore, um, it has been uh, successfully make uh, um, uh, uh, a Greece port into its uh, 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 hub in uh, Europe. And um, um, in this particular uh, case, I'm going to share with you. And um, uh, 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 China Merchandise Group, uh, it, it is not a um, um, shipping company, and it's uh, operating on the ports. So therefore, in terms of the, that company's consideration, you know, on one hand, that company is not a strong consignee, and on the other hand, that is also, a, um, you know, it's not a strong consigner either. And what they can do is, you know, play a role as a, a supply chain or as a, you know, sort of the logistic supply um, provide, play that role. So therefore, if you want to, uh, um, to a certain extent, if you really want to uh, make this, uh, you know, uh, uh, we call this a company uh, as a supply chain or logistic, logistic um, you know, uh, 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 we're looking into uh, uh, sort of uh, their role as a supply chain uh, host. Okay, they don't have uh, uh, the power completely the supply chain. Uh, we design the matter. The host, uh, the role is provide the opportunities and working with uh, you know other players within the company, uh, within the industry. So, so therefore, what do they need to do, and they need to work with the local government, and they also need to see how they can build uh, with the hub and uh, in a particular place. And um, 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 uh, they need, uh, you know, space, and uh, they need to talk, you know, think about, uh, you know, investment time and how they can get a return. And uh, um, so, what is the collaboration with other uh, logistic, uh, you know, uh, suppliers? Uh, of course, they need to look into uh, law systems, social and environmental factors in a particular country. So, um, um, in terms of the PDP. Um, the, uh, the company itself, it's a, a standing as a private site, and it's trying to uh, make this connection into, uh, you know, Sri Lanka, uh, South, um, um, South Sri Lanka ports, and um, um, so how to build up a stronger uh, PDP structure is definitely a question to the company. Um, I mentioned this company with uh, over 150 years uh, um, uh, ex uh, existence and uh, um, the history back to uh, early, uh, you know, Qing Dynasty before uh, uh, before uh, uh, Republic of China and People's Republic of China, uh, which has uh, you know uh, uh, quite a long history. And the company operates now 52 ports in 20 countries and over five, uh, you know, continent. And um, um, so we they look at, the, I mean, this is a, 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 a sort of a illustration uh, I get from uh, China merchandise. And the China merchandise, you know, looking into uh, this uh, building and route uh, um, uh, participation. And on the top, I mean, if you look at this row, it's, um, you know, uh, the hand, I mean, land base, okay? And uh, on the bottom, there's a maritime, um, you know, sort of uh, uh, Silk Road, um, uh, Maritime uh, Silk Road, and that is a company I'm uh, working with. The company uh, currently, um, you know, uh, headquarters in Shenzhen, and uh, uh, here it's uh, your country, and uh, uh, it also uh, putting a, recently putting a, a, a port project in Djibouti. Um, in our study, in our follow up, we went to uh, Sri Lanka and uh, looking into how um, the uh, um, China merchandise doing here. 
Then we also went to Djibouti, I mean, not myself, my colleagues went to uh, Djibouti, looking into what is the, the part of the Djibouti uh, which support uh, in, uh, um, East, uh, in East uh, Asia, North uh, um, uh, Africa, and in particular, and what is the relations with another um, nowadays uh, manufacturing, potential manufacturing powerhouse, um, SLOP. Um, so uh, during this process, and uh, we try to understand what is, uh, how much time do I have? I have another 20 minutes? Do I have another 10 minutes? 10 minutes? Okay, I have to be quick. So um, if that, uh, you know, looking to uh, um, um, the company uh, is doing, um, so um, I just mentioned, um, we also went to, uh, uh, it's European, um, you know, uh, um, industrial park and looking into uh, other factors. This company is with some sort of the successful history over the last 30 years as far as the port uh, you know, operation is concerned. So this is uh, a picture and uh, which uh, uh, they call it. And uh, uh, this is the uh, port and that is park and that, you know, on the back, that's a city. So they come up with the so-called business model, port, park, and city, the urban models. And um, 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 so, okay, um, what do we want to look into?